Hey guys, welcome back to That OP Show. The name of the game is Metroid Other M for the Wii. I thought I'd just show this off. When you ever, whenever you start a loaded game, it has this kind of recap of the story uh, as it uh, as it is up to, up until the point in which you uh, save. It's kind of like the same thing that um, I think Final Fantasy 13 does something similar. Anyway, yeah, you just get the whole text there. It's pretty much just to disguise the loading times and uh, once it's loaded even if it's not finished you could just press um, the minus button on the Wii remote to skip past it anyway last time we received orders from Adam Malkovich to uh, restore power to the area so that's what we're off to do now we just want to kind of Maneuver our way back down to the bottom floor here. We're gonna take out these guys. Just a little bit of backtracking, something that uh, Metroid is actually famous for. And it's also one of the reasons that quite a few people don't particularly care for it. As you can see, oh wow, alright, those guys weren't there before. I'm gonna take that guy out with the charge beam. Boom! Oh, did I. I missed him. Oh, come on. Let's take care of that guy. Oh, wow. I'm really not having an easy time with this. Come on, stupid bug. You go squish now. Is it still there? All right. As you can see, we can't really get through that door. It's still locked. But now that we have the morph ball bombs, we can go up through this shaft right here and blow up that grate that was blocking our path before. And we also got an energy tank. So that's pretty much 100 more hit points take that thing out and this is the system management room we're gonna be able to restore power here come on just walk up to the computer and she activates it automatically and we get attacked we just need to take out these bugs here you know the best ways to just uh, stand near the door and unleash a uh, volley of firepower come on now there we go once we have an opening we just lock onto the nest, and three missiles ought to do it. There we go, and we got more of these guys coming out. We'll just take them out. Yeah, one of them uh, blocked my last missile there. Come on now. There we go. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on. There we go. And that's that. Is that it? There we go. Walk back up to the computer. And power is restored. Now we can go back to Adam to receive our next orders, but first, we have access to a few new areas that we didn't previously have access to before. Not much, just backtracking to get a few little power-up items. And now that the lights came on, these uh, little guys are uh, more prone to coming out to attack us. I guess they were afraid of the dark. Alright, we have this little vent right here. We can blow it up with a morph ball bomb. And we can go on through this shaft. Let's come down here, and there is another missile upgrade. Now we can hold up to 12. Now, speaking of which, might want to recharge. There we go, we only had four there. It does come in handy. That door is locked, but we can unlock it by uh, accessing this panel. There we go. Okay, didn't quite see that one coming. Uh, was there something up there before? No? Okay, yeah, nothing much. Alright, back through this door. And no, I think... Yeah, alright, this is where we were before. Yeah, this is the way we came through uh, during the last part. Alright, now that we have the Morph Ball Bomb, we can come down here. There's this little panel right here that we can blow up. We can drop down, and there is another missile upgrade. And we gotta hurry up and go through because there's, ah, uh, there's, uh, gamers getting in our way. They just kind of pop up there once we grab the missile tank up, missile tank expansion. Come on. Yeah, just blast through these guys. They're not really much of a threat.
And, oh, oh, I forgot about those guys. Ah! Well, I guess sense move is coming in pretty handy now. Oh, yeah, um, let, let, let's see. Oh, well, it's kind of hard to show off, but, uh, if you're, um, holding the, uh, charge button, if you're holding down the one button to charge your weapon, it automatically fully charges instantly when you do sense move while holding the one button. And, what is this? Oh, it just powered up? and yeah, it doesn't do anything now. Alright, take these guys out. And that should be all of them. Yeah, we're doing good. I think we're making pretty good time. About uh, six minutes in. <laughs> Didn't do a very good job of hiding that load time. Oh boy. Alright, the bridge is going to collapse. And we got these uh, big guys. I wish I could uh, remember the names of Metroid enemies as well as I could, like, Mario or Zelda enemies. Or even Sonic enemies. I'm a little better at that. You know, only classic bad nicks. All right. We uh, can kick climb up here and... Oh, come on now. I did what I warned everybody not to do. I changed direction with the D-pad. One more missile tank upgrade. And we just come over here and aim up. And we can blow that up with a normal missile. Well, it's the only missiles we got right now. Oh yeah, we can come down here. That restores the bridge. And we won't have to deal with that anymore. By all means, I'll feel free to um, tell me the names of the uh, enemies that I encounter. If I, you know, if I can't remember the names of them, just feel free to just, you know, put words in my mouth via the comment section. You know, tell everybody else who, you know, cares what the names of the enemies are. We can access this panel now that the power is on. As you can see over to the right, there's an item, but we can't get it right now. We need to come back later with another uh, with another weapon. And now that those panels have, uh, or now those platforms have popped up, we can now, if we can get down there, get through this little hole right here for another missile tank upgrade. All right, we're on a roll. All right, back to the save point. And these take a little long. I'm contemplating, I'm wondering if it's worth editing out the save sequences because it does take a few seconds, but it's not really that much time. All right, just run through here, blasting away. And back to Adam. Four more orders. Samus, go through the hatch on your right and head towards Sector 1. Lyle went ahead to secure a route to a facility of interest. I'll leave you to survey Sector 1. Alright, so we're going to Sector 1. Wonder what that place is like. Wonder what Lyle's up to. Adam really is kind of cryptic. Now oh, come on, all right, up the elevator. And we can't get through this door right here. This is actually the door to the room where Adam is sitting. Oh, and you know, there's something that's been bugging me. Um, well, hold on, is it this one? I don't think it's this one. No, it's not that one. It's one of them, I know it's one of them. Yeah, there we go. This, we got another bug nest. Don't worry, no bugs are going to come out and get us. But once we get it out of the way, we can... Ugh, come on. It's a little tough to squeeze our uh, way in there, but we can kick climb up here. We can blow this thing up, and we get one more missile tank upgrade. All right. Um, yeah, one thing that kind of bugs me, and this probably only bugs me because I was in the military and I know better... Um, Samus referred to Adam as a general in the Galactic Federation Army, yet his troops call him Commander. Now, I happen to know that Commander and General are two completely separate ranks, in two different kinds of branches. I mean, I don't know about in other countries, but here in the United States, Commander is strictly a naval rank. 
Um, and it's actually the equivalent, I believe it's an 05, it's the equivalent of a lieutenant colonel in the you know Army, Air Force, or Marine Corps. Uh, a general is actually um, the highest ranking officer in the um, in, in the Marine Corps, Army, or the uh, Air Force. Um, the equivalent in the Navy being an admiral. So yeah, she she referred to him as uh, you know an army rank. And his, uh, you know, and everybody else seems to refer him, refer to him as the naval rank commander. Which, if you're going strictly by pay grade, is actually much, uh, much lower than general. Uh, commander being uh, an O5, and uh, general being O10. And um, we are supposed to go into that elevator down there in order to uh, further advance, but I want to climb up here for right now. If you notice while I was rambling, I just uh, kept climbing up instead of going in that elevator. Stay away from these guys right here, these little puffer guys. Once again, can't remember their names, but if you're uh, too close to them when uh, they explode, you're going to take damage. And that was an energy part. If you collect five of them, you get a full energy tank. Think of them as kind of like the pieces of heart from The Legend of Zelda. Because, you know, they pretty much serve the same exact function. Collect a certain amount to piece together a whole, and there you go. And, was I... Oh, man, was I really supposed to do that? Did I screw up? Ah, crap. Yeah, I screwed up. I want to go back down the elevator. Sorry for wasting your time, guys. Elevator, go down the hole. Um, to anybody too young to get the reference, it's uh, the baby version of Plucky Duck from Tiny Toon Adventures. Alright, take out some more uh, poison puffer guys, and we got these guys. Alright, uh, that tutorial right there is showing the overblast technique. Um, it's pretty much what I showed you, uh, you know, what I've been showing you already. Oh, come on. It just, uh, when you have a fully charged... Uh, beam just uh there, i think there's one more ah crap i am not having a good day with this when you have a fully charged beam just jump on the enemy's head and that's the overblast any more any more oh, there's one more isn't there and it's just gonna jump out where i when i least expect it oh there we go come on i have a fully charged blaster jump on him there boom bitch that should open the door is, is there Oh yeah, well yeah, that will come in handy later. Uh, yeah, we need a we need a power bomb to open that up. Yeah, we're not going to be able to access that until much much later. And here is the elevator to sector one, two, and three. As you can tell by the colors, they're probably going to be environmental themed. So our orders from Adam are to investigate sector one. And our special ops guy, Lyle, was uh, sent to investigate this area as well. A level three warning is now in effect in sector one. Please avoid traveling alone and remain armed. Stay alert to your surroundings at all times. Well, I'm armed, but uh, I'm going to be traveling alone. That's kind of the staple of Metroid games. All right, we're going to go through this door. And we're going to save. And we're going to continue our investigation of Sector 1. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching that LP show. Have a one that is good. And that's where we're supposed to go. Right there. Through the red door. Glad that was successful. Bye.